So, all right, enough about us. Let's talk about your website. Uh, most websites were built originally as a business brochure, right? Okay, we need to get our information out there. A lot of times it was that our competitors already had a website, so we better get a website. Um, not a lot of thought put into it. In a lot of cases, it's just we need to get everything up there, get our list of products or services, that kind of stuff up there. So it became a brochure. What happens with a brochure is you kind of build the same thing, right? You do your homepage, your about us page, uh, add your services, your products, a contact us page or button or a form, something like that. These are the most common pages on a website. And in a lot of cases for brochure websites, that's the way that they're built. And a lot of business owners will think, you know, if we build it, they will come. You know, they'll just, the, the customers will just start coming. The phone will start ringing. It will be absolutely fantastic. But what typically happens is when you launch, your, your revenues kind of stay the same. You know, they don't seem to go up. They don't seem to go down. They just kind of flatline, you know, and this is very common because your site, site becomes stale to Google. So there's no reason to rank it higher, rank it lower. Uh, it should be pretty much always the same because, uh, because there's no movement or anything on the site. So Google really likes to see consistent growth on a website. And growth means every time they come back to re-index your site or look for updates, they find new pieces of content. So every time they come back, it's growing. Maybe it's just growing by one a month or something like that. But every time they know that it's consistently growing, it is not stale, it's not abandoned. Uh, and those kind of signals tend to lead to uh, lower results if they're abandoned or stale. So by creating content consistently, you're sending signals to Google uh, that this site is alive and well and uh, working hard to, uh, to grow. Uh, the other thing about, you know, I mentioned earlier, non-growing websites tend to mean flat revenues uh, because you're not gaining all those new customers. Everybody's moving towards the internet and everybody's moving towards mobile on the internet, quite honestly. Uh, so if you're not taking advantage of those things, then you're probably missing out on a ton of revenue. So why is content so important? I've kind of already started to allude to this. We're going to go through the seven steps uh, in detail. I'm going, to, I'm going to touch on each one of these steps and, and then we'll kind of wrap it up at the end here. First of all, content builds credibility. When you read something online, it, it's funny, but in most cases, people immediately see, assume that you're the expert on that particular topic. So it builds your credibility uh, because you're the one out there answering what they are typing into Google to find. You're, you're answering that piece of research or that item that they're asking about. It also builds your email list. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it also builds your email list. If you are, uh, if you're not grabbing emails on a consistent basis, you could be missing out on an opportunity. And we'll talk a little bit more later on about calls to action and some things that you can do inside your content to get people to take that next step. But one of those next steps could be to sign up for your newsletter uh, or to, to download your uh, design guide or something along those lines that gets their email. And then you can send things to them once a month. Hey, we've got this new special going on, 20% off shutters or 10% off of install or whatever it happens to be. Uh, or you just want to share some great pieces of content that you've written. That's another way to do it as well. Content also attracts attention. I mentioned this earlier, the fact that your site is growing and it's consistently adding on new uh, relevant pieces of information. It attracts attention, not only of people that are searching for that information, but Google itself, who doesn't want to attract attention from them? You know, so that they will rank you higher, they'll rank you in more places, they'll rank you for more keywords. All of these are good things that are created because you've started building content on your site. So here is the content creation formula, if you will. This is the formula that we use when uh, we're putting together a content uh, plan for 
uh, a client or for ourselves, quite honestly. On date, Writer will publish a post using type about category. I'm going to break down each one of these for you and we're going to start backwards. We're going to start at the bottom with category. 